Hi guys, this is my Max Six. We're back at the Mecca, and uh, I'm very excited to have my my man, Stan the Man, the new champ of the FitCon Utah. Stan, congratulations, man! Welcome to uh, Muscle Beach TV. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me again. I'm so excited. I uh, I had the pleasure to have your good buddy uh, Danny Hester, who won the Grand Prix four weeks ago, and now you just qualified for the Olympia. And how how great is that? It's actually really gratifying. This is uh, more excited for this one than the other three that I've competed in. Really? Yeah. Tell me why. Uh, I think right now I'm at the pinnacle of my career. This is going to be my final competition. Uh, I get to be on stage with the body that I feel more comfortable with. I get to be on stage with guys like Danny. Um, you know, who else? I'm not sure, really sh sure who else is going to be there, but, you know, it's going to be aesthetic guys, you know, and that's, uh, that's more my forte. So I'm excited about this. This is, is going to be your fourth Olympia, right? Correct, fourth, yes. Wow. And then you're done after this? Is this your, your swan song? That's it? Well, you know, I, I, I told my wife that this is going to be the final show. Okay. Uh, you know, if she changes her mind and says, let's do another show, then who knows? I might do something else. But right now, I'd like to put everything into this and like really, really focus on some other, other things after okay. this. Okay. Well, you still, uh, just like you said, I think you just you like fine wine, man. You guys keep getting better, you and Danny. You're both in your 40s now and, and look fantastic. And uh, this is so great to have this new, uh, Danny talked in length, I don't know if you watched the interview last time about the, you know, this new division, which is tailor-made for you and him. And uh, it's so exciting to have this new, uh, this new group of guys. And, and, um, but talk to me a little bit about this, this, past, uh, this past show. You competed four weeks ago with Danny at the Grand Prix and you looked much better at this one. Uh, what did you do different to actually you know, refine your physique so much in such a you know, short period of time? Well, you know, competing at the 212 division, it was, I was always trying to be fuller and bigger. Uh, my conditioning was really never up to par. So when I started to get ready for this show, all I cared about was really just bringing the weight down. So when I got down in the uh, 80s, uh, low 80s, I kind of felt like, yeah, you know, I'm in pretty good shape. You know, I was seeing lines I didn't have as a 212 guy. Uh, to me, I was in, in, in really good shape. Um, but as you can see from the show I just competed in, it's much drier, much harder. Um, that's the real me right there. So what did I do differently? Um, really after that show, taking a third was kind of a, you know, shot to the gut. You know, I really didn't like placing third, especially in my backyard. And, and uh, you know, I was ex extremely happy that Danny won. But of course, I'm a competitor. I wanted to win the show. So uh, right after that, there was no messing around, no cheats. We went right back to keto uh, diet. And uh, actually, really, I'd say the key pr probably was hitting the cardio much harder. I implemented some uh, bookend cardio, which was basically I would get up in the morning, uh, do fasted cardio, just a short uh, hit interval uh, cardio, then do a train. And then at night before bed, I would do like an hour long cardio wow. session yeah so some really hard work in this one yeah it, it was quite, quite grueling but this is what it needed yeah 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 so so this this uh, men's classic physique this is something that uh, you're really glad that they came up with because really it's uh, it's much better for you yeah I think for, for especially for a body type like like mine or even like Danny's um, you know we're not naturally big guys so um, you know all we have to really care about is coming in condition and the size we already have because we've been training for 30 years right. uh, we have the muscle size uh, and then uh, not only that the division as a whole it, it's it, it you know how depending how you want to look at it, it could be a much healthier way to go I mean right. we don't have to use all types of gear and supplements yep. to get to keep the size on the training is a little bit different uh, because we have 20 plus years of training we don't have to worry so much about you know packing on the size really just refining and and, and keeping everything full and, and and keeping the definition in there that's awesome you waited the same as when you won the usa correct yeah in 2002 uh, I was a middleweight, so I had weighed 176. So I actually weighed less than when I won the USA's. How did how did you get to look so different? Is it because mature, mature, muscle maturity, or how do you explain that you look so much refined, so more more polished? It has to be the time. Yeah, you know it's funny. I, I did a comparison photo of like when I won the USA's next to when I won this show, and uh, granted, I weighed about a pound and a quarter less, um, but a totally different look. Um, you know the USA look is actually I do like the look it was a little bit fuller not as hard not as dense but that explains it right there this show now is you know uh, this is an additional 14 years later of pounding the weight so the muscle maturity yeah. uh, the density, the density the, just yeah. the quality of the muscle I mean it's just uh, you know it's quite different yeah um, 
there was uh, some rumors about uh, you know competitors acting a little bit less than sportsmanlike at at at, uh, at the show. You want to talk about that a little bit? Are you a little bit disappointed, or talk to me about it? Um, you know, there's a few guys back there. Not not a few guys. I mean, you know, there's there's people that complain. I mean, every show there you're gonna have someone that's not happy because they don't win a show. Um, you know, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate that there are some guys like that. Um, it's just leave it on the stage, you know. I mean, yeah. it's really not, you know, it's not my fault that one person wins or another. Or you know, it's you know, it's really up to the judges. Yeah. Um, you have you know anywhere from nine to eleven judges up there judging you, and they take average scores. So, you know, no one's gonna be happy 100% of the time, you know. Right. Well, you weren't you weren't happy with the first one. You just said it right there. So what do you do? You go back to work and you improve your package and you win. No, absolutely. You know, I mean, you know, that that one was a tough tough loss uh you know it's taken third especially in my own backyard but i mean there's no uh conspiracy theory there's no you know political game behind it you know i mean you can clearly see you know the changes in my body from that show to this it's pretty evident that you know i wasn't 100 percent. yeah even danny i, I mean he, he was telling me i didn't see you much uh, in between the two shows but he was telling me man you should see stan you should see stan he's really getting good and he's improving a lot so he was really excited for you uh, for this one he uh he had high hopes that you would win and of course you know he was right yeah man I, i'm like i said i'm really stoked that you know especially the two of us are going to be on the same stage representing you know the west coast uh, west coast bodybuilding uh you know we're two of the most aesthetic guys that are still in the game and we get to present it uh in september that is so exciting, man. I, I hope I hope you don't retire after this, man. I'm going to have to talk to your wife and <laughs> try to convince her that you can beat someone. I don't know. It just seems to me like you're hitting your stride, man. You guys are just keep getting better and better. It's so motivating. For, I mean, we were talking about it. This is live TV, you guys. We're talking about it a little bit when you when we shot with Danny and stuff. And we have Dexter, who has 46 years old, is just kicking ass and taking name. Almost won the Olympia last year. And it seems like the guy in their 40s now are really bringing it. It's not like back in the days where you're 32 years old, you have to retire, you know? Yeah, man. Like, again, uh, this is uh, you know, it's not really an old man sport. I mean, you, we're hitting our prime. We're in our 40s, you know. We, most of us that are on this Olympia stage. We've got 20 plus, if not 30 plus years of just lifting experience. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's like fine wine. You just, uh, the longer you're hitting it, as long as you take care of your body and That's you're right. not abusing it, uh, you're going to get better and better. Yeah, like today, I mean, you came in to do this interview, but next after this, you're going to go see Jeff Metcalf to get some therapy and stuff. I mean, you guys are doing it smart and taking your time and refining your bodies uh, constantly, which obviously makes a difference. Yeah, especially at, at this, it's this point in the career, it's the uh, tangible things that... Uh, take you over the edge when I mean, we all eat the same foods we all do this real similar training take the same supplements um, but it's the extracurricular things like example sleep yep. you know the type of cardio you're doing yep. uh, and then the, the deep tissue the chiropractic all these things you know really taking care of your body so that your body can still function properly those are the key elements right there that I see that's been kept been able to keep me going and uh, with no injuries right Talk to me about Physique Inc. It's your company and it's still going strong. You help a lot of competitors that you're always posting on social media. You have your own YouTube channel now. Um, it seems to be really, really booming. You you, uh, you happy with it? Yeah, you know, Physique Inc., you know, basically what our whole concept from the beginning was, you know, we handle a lot of competitors, uh, you know, elite athletes, but, you know, we have a lot of guys like Dan Hester, for example. You know, he, he's training you know, tons of celebrities, yep. uh, a lot of the UFC world champions. Uh, you know, same with me, you know, we, we, we kind of handle a lot of celebrities, but we also take, you know, average people yeah. because we are a high end training company. Uh, each one of our coaches have 20 plus years of experience. So, you know, we take got normal guys and we can make you feel like a, a, a superhero. Yeah. And so that's our concept, you know, uh, uh, we're not just for competitors, we're for everyday people. Yeah, you've been, you've been you've been doing it for a few years now. I mean, last time we I think we did an interview, you were just launching. It was what, like three four years ago, right? Yeah, well, I've been training clients since '96. Uh, you know, Physique Inc. I mean, uh, yeah, but means. Physique Inc. Uh, we were launched. This is we're going on uh, year seven now. Oh my God! Really? Oh God, time flies. <laughs> I'm old, you guys. <laughs> yeah, time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so what's next for you, man? That's it. You shutting it down till the Olympia? Yeah, I'm gonna take a little break, man. I want to enjoy the summer. Uh, yeah. I mean, I start back in July, getting ready for the uh, Olympia. It's gonna come fast. It will come fast. But right, right now, we're just gonna. I'm gonna take some time and spend uh, with the kids and family, and take a little vacation. Yeah. And uh, just relax. Yeah. Keep Michelle happy so she lets you compete again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, if you're watching this, let this guy compete, man. He's too good to stop him right there. 
I think uh, that you and Danny's rivalry, uh, even though you guys are good friends, got Franco and Arnold, you know, it could go, this could go on for years, man. Uh, who's Franco? Which one's Franco? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean, oh, I don't know. Uh, well, Danny's shorter, so I guess it's got to be Franco. There we go. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say? Anybody else you want to thank? Your sponsors? Any, anybody? Yeah, for this show, uh, uh, please check out our website, physiqueinc.net, uh, uh, Buff Bake, uh, X2X Clothing, Bushido. Uh, wow. Yeah. You're doing good. Yeah, I'm doing all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys. Dave Mamaxic with Stan the Man McQuay. And we're going to see them both at the Olympia. Danny may actually compete before the Olympia, he told me. I'm not sure. I don't know. He's going to do something else? All right. I think he's doing a Dexter show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. all right. Scoop, scoop. All right. So we're going to have Danny back on the camera, hopefully. And I would love to follow you guys before the Olympia, do some more footage. That, that last training video was awesome. We got a lot of hits, and uh, it was great. Let's do it. All right, sure. Dave Max 6 for Muscle Insider. And then uh, this is uh, Muscle Beach TV. And then we're out, you guys.